Our final problem on our practice problems, problem 30, um, looks at pruning. So how tall do we need the holly pine to be before we could prune the lowest 21 feet of the bowl without risking reduced growth? So our general rule of thumb for the holly pine is we want to maintain a live crown ratio as it relates to pr pruning of above 50%. Live crown ratio, which I'm going to abbreviate LCR. And so the math on this will simply be the 21 feet of bowl divided by 0 0.50. And that equals 42. Our units on 21 were feet. Our units on 42 are feet. So if we look at this, if our trees are 42 feet tall, so here's my attempt to draw a tree take it for what it's worth. 42 feet tall. We're assuming 100% live crown ratio to start. That's an assumption we're making. But it wouldn't matter if it had self pruned up some already. If it was less than that, you can prune off the dead limbs. Um, if it's already completely self pruned here, there's no need to prune. So it really doesn't change our outcome. Um, so even if it was less, it would work fine too. And then following pruning, our tree now has 21 feet pruned, 21 feet with live crown. And so this has given us 50% live crowd ratio. So that's an explanation and a drawing for you. You can see the math is very straightforward. Um, the nice thing about this is you know, that this 21 feet is a number some companies are using. It meets their product specs. Uh, remember that to get trees on many log trucks here in the US South, you want them to be about 40 feet long. So we typically look at about 40 feet as being the earliest with the probably commercially thinnest stand. 40 feet in height. And so you're also going to want to do your first pruning after a thin. There's no reason to prune trees that are then thin soon after. That's a waste of money. So here the prescription would be to thin the stand, then come in and prune it. So that 42 feet works really well uh, with our live crown ratio. So there's a little bit of detail on live crown ratio and pruning with